I'm gonna have to hide her. Ow! I'm talking! Uh, hey, fourth dimension viewers. Uh, long time no see. I just came back from a month long trip to South America. Was in Patagonia um, and uh, did a lot of exploring. So I just got hands on with the brand new Fujifilm X-T5 and I wanted to give my first impressions. <laughs> Today, uh, Big Head Taco, Take, and I got to go outside and play with the, uh, the new X-T5, as well as the brand new 30mm f2.8. As a hybrid shooter, the camera that I've chosen for the past few years has been the X-T4, which is filming me right now. And I was really excited to uh, have played with the X-H2S and X-H2, and now the uh, Fujifilm X-T5. So. What are my first thoughts? For photography, I think this camera makes a lot of sense. With the new sensor, it's gonna give you a lot more resolution for blowing up. I think Fujifilm's been very smart to have a reason for both the X-H2 line and the X-T line. They've clearly created a separation between hybrid shooting, giving you the, the full package in the X-H2 and X-H2S. And now the X-T5 is, in a way, it's an upgrade from the X-T3. The screen's back that maybe a lot of people who didn't like about the X-T4. And I think a lot of people are gonna be very happy upgrading from the X-T3 to the X-T5. I think if you're an X-T4 shooter and you do a lot of videography, I don't think this is gonna be the right camera. And I think that's the reason why I'm gonna be skipping the X-T5 and probably going towards the X-H2S instead as a full hybrid camera. Definitely take this opinion with a grain of salt. I have a Fujifilm GFX system, so I have 50 megapixels when I need it. And you know, I think that's a big reason why somebody would go for the X-T5 is having that resolution. Some of the things that I noticed was the body is definitely lighter uh, and a lot smaller side by side compared to the X-T4. The grip is a bit deeper. It's gonna be subjective. Like the deeper grip is gonna be better for bigger lenses. But I think a lot of shooters with Fujifilm like using the smaller lenses and the X-T4 fits great anyways. And if you like having a heavier body, kind of giving you a bit more of a premium feel, in a way, I think the X-T4 is, is a great feeling camera already. So yeah, just to sum up, I think if you're an X-T3 shooter and feeling like that 40 megapixels is gonna help your photography, uh, if you're a landscape photographer, I think this is gonna be a really good camera. In terms of stills, the X-T4 still wins with burst rate. I think that's somewhere where the X-T5, because it's a dual SD card slot, it's really gonna slow down when you have fast shooting. And you know another issue is gonna be that rolling shutter if you're shooting sports. So if you're more of a fast paced wildlife sports or just a quick shooter, I think either the X-T4 or even like the X-H2S is, is gonna be the better bet. So these are just my thoughts. Um, I think the X-T5 is a great camera. I think uh, Take absolutely loves it. We're gonna be coming up with a video from our walk today, uh, probably next week. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. <sighs> I can't do this girl. She's just gonna be the star of the show. Um, I swear I didn't place her here. She just came up here at the last second and has no idea who I'm talking to right now.